Here I am in my apartment. I've already packed my bags. Tomorrow, I'm playing my last match for Shivas in the MLS Cup Final. Hopefully, I can leave them with a title before I leave. After this match, the season is officially over and the transfer window opens. I don't even know where I'm gonna go. All I do know is that this is the last week I spend in America. It's been a fun year. I've grown up and improved a lot. I kinda can't believe this chapter in my life is over. I've had so many good memories in this little apartment that I've called home for the past 12 months. But at the same time, I cannot wait to see what's in store for me next. I am a little sad and afraid, but very excited. So I am feeling the nostalgia as I head into this match. It's my last ever match for Shivas USA. Which means you guys are going to know which club I'm going to join by the end of this episode. So make sure you stick around because I know you guys have been looking forward to this for a long time as have I. But let's focus on this match. It's our last one anyway. It is Shivas against the New York Red Bulls in the MLS Cup Final. Now, I'm playing the lone striker, but then we look under the New York Red Bulls team, and I'm not seeing Thierry Henry anywhere. I'm not seeing him on the bench. I'm not seeing him in the starting 11. And I'm not sure if he either retired in my career mode, or he transferred, which is kind of unlikely because he's really old. Um, or maybe he's just injured and he just can't play. But the match does kick off, and I'm, I'm getting emotional already. My last match for Shiba. So we start off pretty well, just a couple of small passes, nothing too risky, nothing too crazy, but the teammate continues the move inside the box with an over the top through ball and our teammate actually finds the net in the first play of the match in only the second minute and I'm running circles to congratulate my teammate even though I didn't contribute that much uh, on this goal per se, I did uh, give the ball there on the wing but it's not my assist, it's not my goal and I do feel like I have to take a part in this match, like a big important part. Uh, in this last match for Shivas, I look for the space, they're actually dribble between every single player, take the shot on target, goalkeeper pushes it away, comes back to me here, uh, I take a very strong touch there, it counts as a pass, I get the ball back because I asked for it, I always ask for it, and I faint there, and I take the shot, goalkeeper has to save that one for a corner, nothing came with the corner though, and I am on the ball again, uh, I, I stop, I scoop turn, and then the ball roll drag back gives me some space for that long shot and the goalkeeper saves it again. And we move on to the next opportunity, I'm making a very good run up there and I try to chip the goalkeeper but there's not enough elevation and don't quote me on this one guys, but I don't think I have chipped the goalkeeper in my career uh, at all, like I'm not completely sure but I feel like I haven't. However, we do go in at halftime at 1-0, the second half begins. And it's a very sloppy defensive error there and actually put it in the back of the net with my head. So to all of the people that are like uh, 5 foot 8, he can jump, he can score headers, there you go. That is dedicated to you because I just scored a header there. It's the, the most, uh, I don't know, unheaderish header goal you'll ever see. But it's a header goal nonetheless. And I have one goal in this Shivas match exactly what I wanted. So a two goal lead in the final is a very comfortable thing. Especially this late. And now I am on the wing trying to look for the space though two players are on me. However I do confuse that one player and I uh, use my strength to cut inside the box. I take the shot across the goalkeeper and I actually miss the target. But regardless the match is over at 2-0 and we win the MLS Cup. There you go, that's a beautiful shiny cup, and uh, I'm there in the back, I should be lifting that cup. But it's cool, bro, I'm I'm happy, where, I'm, a hap I'm, a, I'm in a happy place right now. So the fireworks go, and we all pack here to uh, basically take the group picture. I'm there in the middle, if you can see me right there. Man, the players around me are so tall. Um, but uh, that's the end of the match, 9.3, 1 goal, and 1 key pass. So that's the end of the match, however, there's no reason why the good news should stop. So I win the Golden Boot in the MLS, obviously for the most goals, and they call me Sharpshooter Shade, that actually has kind of a ring to it. But then I also win the Player of the Competition and the Player of the Year, that is a huge deal guys right there. And we see our objectives for the league, I pretty much surpassed all expectations, and it's been a fantastic season for me. Now the football was over and the craziness began. My agent wanted to wait until the transfer deadline day because he said 
that's when I'll get the best offers. This entire day I've pretty much just spent in his office. I sat on his chair while he was in non-stop phone calls. Whenever he got a good offer from a club, he'd come in and ask me what I think. The hours go by, and I'm not getting the good offers that I was expecting and that my agent promised me. There are 10 hours left when he enters the room and tells me that Manchester City have made a very good offer. Now, I expected this. They have a lot of money and are always willing to invest in youth. But I really don't want to go somewhere just for the paycheck. After two more hours, he comes back and tells me that Manchester United have now made an offer. Again, I refuse because I don't want to join a club for the money like City or in this case, just for the name. I feel no connection to Manchester, so I tell my agent to keep going through the offers. There are 5 hours left now, and I'm getting anxious. My agent enters the room again, and even he looks stressed out. He tells me that I now have an offer from Tottenham. I tell him I really don't want to join Tottenham, even less than City or United. Only 3 hours left now, and things are looking pretty serious. My agent comes in telling me that Manchester City have made another offer, and before I can even open my mouth to say no again, he tells me that he strongly recommends I accept, as there is so little time left in the transfer window and it's the best offer I got so far. I do hesitate, but I still tell him, no, I don't want to join City. He looks a bit angry and leaves the room again. Could my stubbornness cause me to be stuck at Chivas until the next window? There is less than 2 hours left when my agent enters the room again. As he was walking towards me, I knew that whatever offer he's got will be the last one I can get, as there is just enough time left for the transfer process now. I was expecting him to tell me all about Manchester City again. He stands in front of me, smiles and tells me, Chelsea have made an offer. I am going to Europe. 